I'm Joe Thompson with Certainty. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install an end lap, where the end of one roll overlaps the next. I'll be using plastic SA self-adhered membranes, but the detail steps are the same with any modified asphalt application method. Make sure all side and end laps are installed with the slope of the roof. Position the new roll to overlap the existing roll six inches at the end lap. It's helpful to score and leave release film in place until you are ready to adhere the end lap. Adhere the new roll up to the end lap. If no further action was taken before adhering the end lap, this T lap would be at risk for water incursion through capillary action. To avoid this scenario, using the selvedge dimension of three inches as your guide, cut the installed sheet on an angle to as close to the six inch dimension as possible. We recommend five and a half inches to avoid overcutting. Now, the T-lap is removed and the transition will be smooth and watertight. To avoid the T-lap on the next course, make a similar cut on the opposite corner, this time on the sheet being installed. Again, using the selvedge dimension of three inches as your guide, cut the top sheet on an angle five and a half inches. Make all T-lap cuts in the same direction, starting about three inches into the roll, cutting out. Since the new roll overlaps a granulated surface, when working with Flintlastic SA self-adhered membranes, apply Flint Bond or another approved surface treatment to the entire six inch overlap. Not required for warranty, but if desired for aesthetics, broadcast Certainty color matched granules into the wet resin. For more information, visit certainty.com slash commercial roofing for construction details or contact Certainty Commercial Roofing Technical Services.